Hello, I want to say a few words today about pliers on a date. And um, I want to mention some pointers to look out for when you suspect that someone may be a player, but this list isn't exhaustive by any means. It's just a couple of pointers to keep an eye out for. And the main point is to, when we're considering safe dating, is to hold back and to consider consciously who this other person may be. Always considering our safety as a priority, as a number one priority. So those first few dates, whether that is with a player or not, are crucial really because those first encounters can tell us an awful lot about this person. And um, so I always mention conscious awareness and using our dating smarts so that we go into our relationships consciously and not unconsciously. And by that I mean not being unconscious, not being aware. Because someone who is unconscious is not aware of what is going on around them. So, and nowhere is this more important than if we are dating a player or a narcissist, for instance. So, very key to maintain conscious awareness on these first few dates, rather than diving in with everything that we have, we need to take objectivity as our major standpoint initially and then act accordingly. So one of the um, things that a player will be looking for in those initial encounters will be how much can I play this person? They will be sizing you up. And often these people, not always, but often they have quite a cavalier attitude. So, um, you may feel or sense from this person that there isn't a great deal of seriousness, that it all feels very casual. And uh, on the first encounter, very often with a player type person, their eyes will be looking everywhere as well. They, they will be very much uh, very visual and uh, looking at other people an awful lot. So um, looking to see if someone is seriously focusing on us and seriously wanting to have an engagement with us and a conversation that is um, trying to find out as much as they can about us in a serious way so that they can consider whether um, we are uh, relationship material or not. And this is what a serious prospect will do. They will want to ask us questions about ourselves and not necessarily spend the whole evening talking about themselves because that doesn't show an interest in the other person. So um, that initial interest in us is a pretty good indicator that this person may be serious or not. And it can also indicate whether someone is looking to see what types of vulnerabilities we have as well and uh, what sorts of desires we have and what we're looking for. So it's a quite a good idea on the first initial meetings to 
have an observer stance where we do a lot of observing and listening rather than doing most of the talking so that both people get to talk and both people get to listen and have the opportunity to get to know this other person. Um, on a first few dates, we may not see any games um, from this player or not, but it's quite often the case that we actually do. And uh, so looking out and making a note in our relationship log of what this other person um, does on the first initial dates is quite key because a player type person has generally a lot of experience in playing and um, when we become conditioned through our own behaviour to behave in a certain way it's unlikely that we're going to snap and change and become a serious person overnight and so we will often see who this person is habitually because they will carry on behaving in the way that they've always done in their prior relationships and so we can tell often what sort of patterns people have in their other relationships in their lives by how they are with us. So um, we can, if we use observation skills and we are consciously aware of what is happening and making a note, when we go back to our relationship log later on and we look at all the encounters, we can then see if there are any patterns. And we can see that, oh yes, I did pick up on that on the first initial meeting. And you consciously made a note of it. So whether someone has a serious interest in you will be shown in the types of questions they're asking you or not. Or whether they're not speaking very much at all. Or everything they say really is about their own life. And their ears only prick up when they get the opportunity to talk about themselves. So that's a pretty good indication that they may expect the other person to do all the giving and show all the interest rather than them having to do anything or not, which is quite a narcissistic thing to do really, to only be interested in, in ourselves and not the other person. Another thing that um, a player type person may do is to push the sex early on. So they may have some quite high expectations as far as um, actually expecting um, sex on the first night and, uh, you know, making overtures in that department to see what they can get away with and to potentially dip out again after they have sex because they may have other relationships and things going on in the background so it's not necessarily a linear thing um, that they are looking to date seriously and go into a relationship it may just be a casual hookup scenario that they're looking for um, on this date and uh, it might not be anything serious uh, at all even further than that night. So, good idea to use our relationship and dating smarts and hold back and become an observer as to what this person is doing, what they're revealing, uh, what you're sensing within. Write that down as well in our log. So that when you come away from the evening and you've got it written down, you can mull it over in your own time and uh, make the decisions that you may need to make further down the line regarding this person as to whether they are just playing us or not. 
So as always, stay safe and very happy. Bye-bye.